Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about the modulus and the conjugate of a complex number. So let's say the complex number given to us is a plus iota times b. So the modulus of this complex number is denoted by mod z which is equals to root a square plus b square okay so this is the modulus of the complex number okay so and the conjugate of a complex number is denoted by z bar is equals to the conjugate of this complex number is denoted by z bar and it is equals to a minus iota times b instead of plus there is only change of minus so let's discuss with one example what is meaning of modulus and what is the meaning of conjugate okay so let's see the z is given to us is 3 plus iota and we have to find out the mode of this the mode of z now is 3 square plus 1 square which is root 10 okay and the z bar means the conjugate is 3 minus iota okay students so there is one property student means when z gets multiplied by its conjugate it gives mod z square let us verify by taking lhs okay so it is z into z bar so what is z let's say a plus iota times b and what is z bar a minus iota b so if I multiply this, so this is a square plus iota ab minus iota ab minus iota square b square. So it is coming out to be iota square is minus 1. So this is a square plus b square which is mod z square. So hence proved student that this property holds true means Z Z bar is equals to mod Z square. Okay, let us discuss some more properties on mod and conjugate. The second property student is the mod of Z1 into Z2 is mod Z1 mod Z2. Okay, and the third property is mod Z1 by Z2. is equals to mod z1 upon mod z2 means you can take the mod separately also you can take the mod after taking z1 by z2 first fourth property on conjugate is z1 z2 bar means conjugate of the z1 z2 product is equals to product of the conjugate of two complex numbers okay and the another property is z1 plus minus z2 conjugate is z1 conjugate plus minus z2 conjugate okay and the last but not the least is z1 by z2 bar is equals to provided z2 should not be equals to 0 okay similarly here z2 should not be equal to 0 so students these are some of the properties based on conjugate and the modulus of complex numbers okay now i hope that you are pretty clear about these properties and in the next lecture we will discuss about some questions based on these properties okay so stay tuned for the questions on these properties thank you students happy learning